Hey, what's going on guys? This is Gecko Guy, bringing you an exciting review on the all-new Airhogs Helix Ion. This is a brand new model they just released and I am super excited to do a review on it. They took the Helix X4 stunt and made it a whole lot smaller. The whole aircraft is roughly 90 millimeters long and 80, 88 millimeters wide. What's even cooler is it has all EDF motors and if you are unfamiliar with that term, EDF stands for electric ducted fan. You get the transmitter, aircraft, and the instruction manual included in the package. I don't like to talk about price in my reviews because they are diff there are different currencies and the, the toys price is um, subject to change at the retail stores and may go on sale at any time. Disclaimer, if you have any trouble with an Airhawks toy, call them toll free at 1-800-622-8339. No seriously, they will hook you up and if something goes wrong with one of their products, you can also contact them via email at customer care or customer care at spinmaster.com. The Ion is for ages 8 and up, and I can honestly agree with that, as well as it is for advanced flyers, and it is really only geared towards being flown indoors. The Ion features gyro stabilization and a charge port that it's hard to get it wrong. The exo frame, as they call it, stands up pretty well against crashes, and the blades stay protected in an event of a crash, which, I'll be honest, I had a couple of mishaps. The transmitter is 2.4 GHz and it features a Mo2 configuration with throttle and rudder on the left, an elevator and aileron on the right stick, and the transmitter feels pretty comfortable in the hands as well. There is a red stunt button that you press along with any direction on the stick. The gray one on the left is not a functional button. There are trims for aileron and rudder, but not uh, trims for throttle and elevator, but to be honest, it didn't really need much trimming. There is a skill shifter on the bottom as well um, that goes from high rates to low rates and I found the rudder, weight, rudder rate on the novice channel is a bit too slow for my taste but I highly recommend just going to advanced rate right from the start. It is a rather peppy little quad as well and I am glad that Airhogs finally got into the nano quad market. There's also a charge cord on the bottom uh, right hand side of the transmitter. The cool thing about it is the charging um, will flash red when it is charging and it'll go off when it's done. The transmitter only takes four AA's, AA batteries to get you going. The charge chimes I don't really like to pay attention to and include in my reviews because what I normally do is I'll play video game like Minecraft or I'll play with another Airhawks product. I can't really s tell you for sure how long it takes. The flight times I don't like to include either because there's a lot of factors that tie into uh, longer run times, like are you doing a lot of flips, are you zipping it around a lot, are you just hovering it over the battery life on the ch uh, transmitter since it charges from the transmitter or something along those lines. Uh, but I was able to average five minutes or more on an average flight. So what's the wrap up? This thing flies like a dream. There's a lot of life that is in this thing, like I said, please excuse the messy hobby area, I'm still trying to get settled into the apartment. I find that it can do flips, but it struggles a bit to recover from them. Oftentimes when I do a flip, it just flips to the ground. It needs a little more than 8 feet of room in order to recover from the flip. Other than that, I am really impressed with it, and it flips really nicely and fast and efficiently, assuming you have the room. I found it more enjoyable to just not do any flips and just fly it around normally. The controls are really responsive, and you can pull yourself out of tricky situations rather easily. Pay close attention to the ion's eyes. The green means you are in novice mode and the red is advanced. When it flashes both colors, it means it's time to start charging it. Turn on the aircraft, then the transmitter. The transmitter will blink at you. Move the throttle stick to arm it. And when it is green, you're ready to go. The only complaint that I can really say about this aircraft is that it does not recover from flips very well. Although it can do it, it's just, I guess my apartment isn't big enough for it. And the good thing is it won't eat you alive with how many batteries it needs, it just needs four double A's to get you going. Nicely done Airhogs and I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you to the Airhogs team so much for sending this to me and I look forward to your fall lineup of products. And I would like to say thank you to my awesome subscribers for helping me reach over 7,000 subscribers at the time of this video. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to subscribe.